the call. Sliding in there, main wearing. Well played. Got it to Wilson. Clever hand pass to Lamb. Lamb out of the centre. Fight on behind play. Hugo takes the mark inside the 50. Gee, they've tested Wilson's jaw, Collingwood, in the first two minutes. Hugo short, loose men. Pios takes the mark. Well, they've sought five metres out. 22 year old. With a drop punt. And it's just to the right. And a mark to Sumich. Well, did Collingwood relax a little there? Sumich over the top. Beautiful kick last week. Runs around, improves the angle, and kicks it through. And dropped after he kicked it. And again it's on. Langdon, they're coming from everywhere. Well, it's a bit hard to describe. And McKenna, named Waring. This is Turley. Up from the back pocket. Sends play wide. Malaxis in front. Shaw knocking away. Gaither's got it now. To right. Under Shaw. Clever football. This is Russell. Left half forward. Russell. Down towards full forward. Great mark, Manson. I love his enthusiasm, Dennis. Big James Manson. Manson has the moon. There'll be about six dead men out there already. Bakos and Warsfold this time. And behind them, Elaine and Pios. Good luck, Paul Pios. Manson levels the scores. It's a goal apiece. And another ball. Pios in trouble. Not once, but twice. Sos. Irving's quick kick. Hedy and Gaifer. Malane. To centre half forward. Manson and Irving. Dacos. Snap. Brown in the front spot. He takes the mark. Well, Gavin Brown had a good game last week. If he winner of last year, he's kicked 38 goals so far this season. Had a few hamstring problems, but generally has been outstanding. And he puts a goal through. Collingwood go to the front. Two goals, West Coast one. Well, Collingwood looking desperate today, as are the West Coast two. And Kelly has reason to be upset with McGrath. Meantime, Langdon. And they came looking for him from all directions. He's penalised for holding the ball. He's one of those players that adds a yard to players around him from the opposition. They seek him out. So Banks is playing in defence. Another surprising move, Manson. He's giving Irving all sorts of problems. Russell, Francisca, Francis, who should attack. He should go to the goal front, go short, and get Brown. Very tight angle, though, Bruce. They still refuse. And Waring has it now. Great chase by Russell. Dragged him down. As a result, the ball was jarred free. Picked up by Shaw. Quick rebound opportunity for the Magpies. Through goes Brown, and that was deliberate. And it will be a Collingwood free. Not much what about by great chase by Russell. Yes, it was, Dennis. Not much uh, Brennan could do about that, though. Francisca inside the attacking 50. Brown couldn't hang on. Somehow emerges with the ball. Lays it off to Francis. A high kick. Manson underneath it. Strong man. He's been sensational, Manson, in this first 15. Good kick is second, and Collingwood's third. Manson. Interesting, but effective. Pulling it up to 3 1. Manson gets his second. It's 19 to 6. I think he had a lot more confidence than a lot of Collingwood supporters there, didn't it? Turley. Half forward, McGrath the target. McGuan easily. Plays on immediately. Christian has pushed up from the back pocket. Can run now. Brown offers the lead. That's the direction the kick takes. A couple of Eagles got tangled with themselves. Russell to Malone, breaks the tackle to right, 55 metres out, goes short and finds Brown. That was a bit of uh, another fight on behind play, Hugo and Mickey McGuan. No, it's Chris Lewis it is. Meantime, Gavin Brown oblivious to all of that, kicks from 40 metres. No one on the line. It's a goal. Four one to a goal. Collingwood lead by 19 points. Bugle almost the mark. 
Turner gained about five metres. Gafer off to Russell. Around the corner he goes. Running back is Barwick. Over the head of Pios. Well played. And now Mullane on his side wing. Look at him go. Mullane is centering kick. In front down there, Krasiska. Knocked away by Brennan. Dacos working over the ball. Running away from his own goal. They hang off him. He props. Pulls it back across his body. Brown is down there. It falls to Francis. Open goal. That's a big goal, that one. And now a very handy break. It's 5-1 to a goal. Yes, fantastic start by the Collingwood side. A different look about them from last. McGrath off. There's the boundary throw in then. Behind the pack. Barwick did very nicely. It was it Krasiska who knocked it out to Francis. Long kick down towards full forward. It's bounced through for a goal. Tony Francis and Collingwood are on fire. And the Magpies lead 6 1 to a goal. Yes, they certainly are, uh, Dennis. It's been a great quarter by Collingwood. Tony Francis, two goals. Kevin. Eugle the target. Kelly for the third time takes a great mark. So it's 37 to 6. Look at uh, Monkhurst wide and on his own. Time to set it up and go short to Wright, who streams through centre and goes direct. Dacos, well done, Warsfold. Brown, McGuan to the goal square. Christian. Dacos loves these and he kicks it. It's an avalanche. A landslide at the moment, seven to run. The champ gets his first, and Collingwood's away. Well, it's a different Collingwood side. Messed up the rest of the Eagles forwards. Throw in. Monkhurst got in the back of Keane. Keane's at right half forward. Simic comes on a lead. That's the direction the kick takes. Has it got the carry? That was centimetre perfect. There's a man in short. Gafer going back. But the ball close really need this. It's going to test him. Kicking into whatever breeze there is here today. It'll take a great kick. It's a very good kick. Oh. It's a brilliant kick and it's a goal. Well, he's done it again. He's kicked two goals in the first quarter and West Coast get a badly needed one. There's two goals, Collingwood 7 1. Yes, he certainly can kick a ball, Peter Sumich, anywhere within the six. Confronted. Pios knocked him down. Shaw held it a long time. Got it across to McEwen. Now McGuan on his own half-back line. Boots back towards midfield. Christian superbly worked his way to the front and took a very strong mark. Quickly to McGuan. Dacos on a long lead. Barwick. Gafer. Centre half forward. Brown the target. Malone. Still Malone. Left foot. And it's another one. Lane gets his first. Collingwood have got eight. They take one to two goals. Well, they've done their homework very well here at Collingwood today. So West Coast Eagles, there's no doubt about that. As fit as any team in the competition. Keane gets it down. Pios. They work it out of the middle again. Collective sigh comes from the big crowd. Hugo on the lead. Yards, metres in the clear, if you will. Towards the pocket. Sumich. In his favoured pocket. Back in. Malane the target. Pios in the front. Malane at the back. Gafer. Francis, who was excellent. Shaw. Centre wing. Manson will get into the action. Russell. McGuan. Krasiska. Francis ducks his head. Chance for Collingwood here, McGuan. Oh, courageous mark by Mickey McGuan. Under enormous pressure from Johnny Worsfold, who was uh, charging down on him. After that effort, and from 45 metres out, straight in front, high drop punt, good looking kick, and it's a goal. McGuan's first, and then Collingwood quickly replies in 9-1, West Coast 3-2. Well, that's enormous courage there shown by um, Mick. 
West Coast doing very well in the centre square. The trail on the scoreboard substantially as Gaither gives it across to Russell, who kicks in towards half forward. Rance knocking away from Manson. Well played by Manson, though. Sure, there's an opportunity for the Magpies. Christian to right. We can go goal with Dacos is on over the top. Dacos 25 metres out, settles and gets it. That's his second. A goal against the tide of play and what a vital one for Collingwood. They're 10-2 and the Eagles are 4-4. That's a very good goal by Cop Forward. McKenna is there with Brown. Brown played it pretty well. Lamb couldn't control it. Keane back towards McKenna. In fact, it carried him. This is Warsfold up from half back. Relayed free kick. Called against Brown. Will be taken by Eugle. The Eagles running everywhere on the forward line. Well, that was split second two as well from uh, Brown. Sumich has got it now. Yes, Gavin Brown just the Eagles and plenty of the ball. In the opening half of this term. Brennan, members side. Keane is up. Falls behind. Taken by Shaw, who's done well to Mullane. Mullane goes long down towards full forward. Kelly's in front. Hitty in from the side. Kelly! Very strong mark. Craig right, Kelly. 25 metres out. Has got the goal. Collingwood take a big break now. It's 11 to the 4 5. Yes, he's really controlled this game. The Eagles. Awkward one for him. Kept his head, showed a lot of courage, but it didn't pay off. Barwick does superbly for the Magpies. Run down by Malaxos. Now Brown has it. Morgan. Christian. Can go on. Kelly gives him a lead. Brennan versus Kelly. Prasiska. Left foot, another one. Twelve goals, four to four, five. Francisco with his first. And everything, they're enjoying what they're seeing. Collingwood have never won a final under that man, Lee Matthews. It seems the writing could be on the wall this afternoon. Well, a three-on-one situation, if you don't mind. Terrible choice, Dennis. Oh. Terrible choice. Brennan kicked it straight to... ...was in the front. Hart laid it off. But it was a disputed ball. Christian just chips away cleverly. A very good play. Manson and Rance. Still no goal in the second half. Right. Francis. Cleverly. Brown. He should drill this through. Brown's kicked his third. It's 13-7 to 4-7. Well, the, the West Coast Eagles, even though they've played much better at the start of this second quarter, they just haven't got the goals on the board. Two are relishing those conditions. Away to Malayan, who boots it towards the outer side wing. Manson works his way to the front and takes a very good mark. Krasiska. High drop punt. Dacos and Warsfold. Great mark to the magician. Ran Warsfold underneath it. And he's kicked two, 45 metres out, drop punt, and that's his third. And it's one way traffic. 14 to 4. A 10 goal margin, 91 to 31. Nice 10 goal break at this stage of Carl Langdon. I think may have given him a corky there. He might have been a bit higher. McGrath, short to Zumich. With McEwen uh, still in trouble, about 10 metres behind Zumich. He's had an excellent duel with uh, McEwen. Irving getting ready to come back on for West Coast. Drop punt by Zumich. Nice looking kick. Sumich gets his third, West Coast their fifth, they get within nine goals, 14-7 to 5-7. Yes, Craig McGrath has another spell on the bench, place Manson, and I think uh, Collingwood may just be uh, starting to feel the pinch a little bit. Moore to half-back, Mullane and Kelly there for Collingwood, Keane, Lamb, Malaxos, Petty, 
Sumic. Well, you can feel a change. They're getting it out of the centre. Now cross half forward, almost as a forward pocket, twin full forward, centre half forward. What role was he playing? Now Sumic for his fourth. Just has to kick it. They've got to make 100% out of everything. And he's put it through. Sumic is fourth. 8 9 to 14 7. Well, they continue to win the ball out of the centre square every contest. And forward and Richardson goes back to take the mark. Richardson, short to right, the defensive side of left centre wing. Now he can run. Kicks long down towards half forward. Barwick's in front. Strong mark, Doug Barwick. Too far out to score. 60 metres from goal. Centering kick. Brown is the target. That is a great mark. He's a great player, this bloke. Gavin Brown. Moncour's given the opportunity. We'll go against Keane. And trail by 30 points, West Coast. Banks. Hit off it by Wilson. Thumped on cleverly by Francis. Dacos and Warsfold. Dacos sweats on it. Warsfold. Well, he's a bit unlucky. They're pretty, uh, pretty quick with the whistle on those boots, aren't they? Very quick. Well, I, I thought that Warsfold made every attempt to knock it out. Will this be a famous Dacos torpedo goal? Not this time. Christian sets himself. In the front spot to Brown, uncontested. Well, he's a sensational player, Gavin. Come off the boot very well, but uh, Peter Dacos, as I say, always get in front. There's always the possibility that it will drop short. Brown's drop punch a goal. Brown's got four, and that's what Collingwood wanted. They've got the first after three quarter time, 15 to nine. And that's four goals to Gavin Brown, a great performance. So his Brennan is on centre wing, pulls it back towards centre half forward, and McGuan goes back and takes the defensive mark. Wants to play on, in fact it's 50. 520, so 4,026, less than last week. Brown comes on the lead and takes a strong mark. They're delighted, and Brown has a chance to kick his fifth. Oh, a superb lead again from Gavin Brown. He's very quick and short. Well tackled by Wright. And weight of numbers tells the story. Morewood across to shore. Prasiska. Will it sit? Wilson keeps the pressure on Christian. Good kick, Prasiska. G. McGraw made a bad error. Lewis was clear there and he went to Sumich. Prasiska short is going to get him now. And again, he'll kick it to Brown. And there are a few holes opening up. Return to 2 1. Monkhurst leading profusely. Back towards the trainers and Rance. It comes to Christian. Long kick towards the kickoff line. Warsfold trying to force it behind. Over the ball was Dacos. Warsfold didn't have it. Brown away to Christian. And Christian's kicked the goal. Well, they were paid the free kick, Collingwood. They didn't need it. Advantage was paid, and they posted their 16th to sew it up. 16-11 to 9-10. Yes, well, a great for Morsfold, certainly. Be fairly happy with the job he's done. Christian over the back of Langdon. Morsfold's hit and shot on the ball. The day cost snap. What a gem. Well, the penalty there of not going at the ball, John Warsfold made a beeline for the man. Yeah, nearly cleaned up his own man in the... Uh... Off the ground, Kemp. Christian with a chance to steady and bang it back in. Dacos is in the goal square on his own. Decides to go short to shore. Still Dacos on his own in the square. Tony sure would need two kicks to get that to far though, Bruce. He's going to try to the pocket and he's got Krasiska. Off the ground and uh, Manson prepares to come back on. Francisco from the pocket. Good kick. That's his second. 18-11 to 9-13. Well, three goals in this final term and the West Coast unable to kick a goal. So 9-13.
And Michael Malthouse has now got to start thinking first semi-final. And Melbourne. Yes, a look of resignation on the face of the coach. Here's Langdon. A look of indecision about his play. Banks held without a trolley. Well, that was bad football. Banks gets this kick. Very popular with the Collingwood fans. Short to Christian. He seems to reserve his best for the West Coast Eagles. He's played well this afternoon. Michael Christian, with the clock down to a minute now, gets a cross field. Russell goes back uncontested and marks. He'll kick from about 35 metres out. Can't afford to do that. It may well be something like 20 goals to nine, or at least 19 to nine if he gets this. And he's got it. And yet you've got to say, the West Coast Eagles weren't out of the game at three-quarter time. It's going to be a drubbing, certainly in the record books, but one can take some consolation. And they won't be hopeless, I think, in terms of... So Collingwood by 59 points in the qualifying final. 19-12, 126. To West Coast, 9-13, 67. Dacos for Brown for the big goal kickers for Collingwood. And a soon be trip four for West Coast.